In this video, we're going to take you through cost plus invoicing. Specifically, we're going to take a look at generating expenses and invoices, as well as we're going to take a look at the invoice statement. Now to begin, we're going to create the job as you would any type of job in Build Exact. So we'll click the create job button here at the end of the estimate, and this box will appear. For today, like I said, we're focusing on the cost plus invoice method. And really quick point I want to make here that uh, while you can create the job at any point, it is really important to ensure that when you do create the job, uh, it is the correct invoice method just because once you enter this information in and create the job, there's no way to change it essentially. So again, today we're focusing on cost plus, and we're also going to enter in our default cost plus markup percent. Uh, we do have the ability to change this for specific outgoing invoices later on, but again, this is just going to be the default markup automatically applied. From here, we're going to click OK, and that'll now create our cost plus job for us. And to begin, I'm going to go ahead and tell BuildExact that the estimate has been accepted. So we're going to go ahead and confirm, and now we're fully onto the job management side. Now, the real key difference between cost plus and other invoicing uh, jobs in Build Exact is that the cost plus job is not actually dependent on a contract amount. Essentially, all it's doing is it's taking the cost that you enter into Build Exact through either purchase orders and work orders and allowing us to then roll that into an outgoing invoice. So, to start, we need to create both a purchase order and a work order. Um, Today, I'm going to take you through those both very quickly. Uh, we do have separate videos which go into this in a lot more detail, but essentially just for today, just for demonstration purposes, we're going to quickly create one of each to then demonstrate our outgoing invoices. So to start, I'm just going to select a item here, pop it open. And next up, I'm going to select the item and we're going to raise a quick purchase order from the actual costings. So we'll click order. We're now going to give it a description. Uh, really important thing to note here, uh, and this is unique to the cost plus uh, job, is that the description will actually appear on the outgoing invoice statement. So it's important to note that when you're entering in this description, just something to keep in mind that it can be viewable to your client later on. Once we've entered in that though, we're going to then give it to a contact. We're now going to mark the order as received. Now, key point I want to make here as well, and I'm going to come back to this a little bit later on, is that uh, when it comes to rolling your receipts into an outgoing invoice, you're currently unable to roll them as part received. You can only take fully received work orders and purchase orders and roll them into an outgoing invoice. So if you do run into certain uh, line items which potentially are going to be uh, invoiced to you across the entire job, but you don't want to wait till the end of the job to then uh, invoice your client, then you may want to look at uh, having separate purchase orders for each stage that you might get billed in. So quick point there, but let's mark the order as received. Go save and close. And I'm also going to go ahead and raise a work order. And really, again, the point of this is really just to show you in terms of how the outgoing invoicing works in Build Exact. So, again, we're going to give it a name, we'll change it to work order, we'll assign it to somebody, and we're going to mark the work as completed. Save and close. So now I've entered in a purchase order and a work order. And again, it doesn't necessarily matter that you create it from the actual costings. You could create it uh, directly from either of these screens. And those other videos I mentioned will go into the process of creating purchase orders and work orders in more detail. But now that we've done that, we're going to jump over to our outgoing invoices section. And now we have both our work order and our purchase order. So next up, we're going to select the items. And we can then go ahead and invoice that. So we'll click invoice and that's going to roll them into a singular outgoing invoice. And we can go ahead and again, give it a description. Here you'll see that BuildExact will pop in with the default markup percent, but you're absolutely welcome to change this. We know that sometimes uh, in different instances, you might charge more for labor or less for labor than your default markup percent. But again, BuildExact has automatically entered that in there for you. And we're now just going to change the status of this from pending to invoiced. Click save and close. And now we're going to go ahead and print that off just to take a quick look at what this looks like. Perfect. So here you can see that we now have the two items, the two, uh, both the purchase order and the work order, and Build Exact has automatically done the calculations for us. And here you can also see that we're actually showing the cost plus breakdown. 
Now you do have the ability to uh, turn this off if you'd like and to do so again we're just in the outgoing invoice section of build exact we can click the cog and we can remove the cost plus breakdown so if i print that off again you can take a quick look at what that will uh, see uh, look like now and you can see here it's just pulling across the name of it so again really up to you uh, we know a lot of uh, different uh, agreements and contracts will require different levels of information but again you have that ability to turn it on or off as you may need uh, in here as well, um, uh, we also have the invoice statement. So if you need to go ahead and produce that at any time, you know, this is, again, a very common document uh, for uh, cost plus jobs. This just helps essentially just keep track in terms of uh, what the different invoices have been raised as, what the total and the status. So again, it can be a document you can produce at any time. But to finish this off, we're going to open this item up and change the status now from invoice to receive, just to indicate that we've received money against this particular invoice. Build exact here is just gonna ask us how much did they spend, how much did they give us? And in this case, they probably gave us exactly the correct amount. So we're gonna click save and close. We'll scroll to the end, and that'll then mark that as received and close that off. Now, final quick point I'll make in here as well is I'll just mention the refundable deposit. Uh, this isn't super commonly used, but it is a feature that is available here in Build Exact. And the refundable deposit is essentially giving you the ability here to create a singular one-off deposit, which can then, uh, you can then take whatever money you've taken here in this refundable deposit, and then uh, apply that as a credit to future subsequent invoices. So again, if that's something that you do, then you have that ability to create that one-off singular refundable deposit there. And that's cost plus invoicing. Mm -hmm.